with Tammy Pally, aka the Crafty Princess, and thank you to Thunder Bay Press for sending me another kit to look at. This is a Disney Frozen Crochet Kit. You can see it's got all the little frozen characters on there. According to the back of the box, um, there are instructions in here for 12 figures from the Disney movie Frozen, and um, there are enough supplies in here to make two of the characters, Elsa and Anna. All right, and I think, oh, here's the back to, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that monster. Yay, that's so cute. All right, so these are available at um, some of the big box bookstores. Um, and of course, Amazon has, um, has them as well. And I think they're a few dollars less on Amazon. The retail price normally goes for $24.95. Uh, but as usual, if you buy most things through Amazon, you get a little bit, um, a little bit of a discount. And if you order through my blog or the link below that I will try to remember to put in the comments, I get a teeny tiny itty bitty itsy witsy <laughs> kickback from Amazon. So, but let's go ahead and open this this guy up. So far, I've done a few reviews. Yeah, I already took off the. They usually had, they had a piece of tape here. I took that off to save some time. But I've done a few, few reviews on these kits, and I've been uh, uh, fairly impressed with them. Let's see if this one lives up to the other ones. As usual, we have a book here and then some yarn. And yes, they're still putting the yarn in these skeins that drive me crazy because now you have to hand roll these. Um, but this one is bright fuchsia. I don't, woo, 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 woo. Can you see? It's not coming out. Super bright pink fuchsia. Turquoise. Sort of like a light beige. And a a light blue and then smaller little bits of yarn this is like a golden golden yellow color um, off white black and royal blue and we also ooh, look at this this is like a little bit of tool here I guess this must be for somebody's outfit let's see well we'll look in the book it's a little bit of turquoise colored tool and we have a 3.25 crochet hook Oop, right there and then here we have some safety eyes some thread well safety eyes thread and um, what do you call it um, a large needle okay a large eye needle which you would use like for embroidery or darning or that kind of thing you need the needle to stitch the pieces together by the way and um, again as always i will warn you about safety eyes i mentioned this in one of my amigurumi tip videos i have about half a dozen or so amigurumi force uh, success tips for amigurumi and safety eyes are not safe for little kids <laughs> babies for sure um, you need to have i would say i don't think i would give it to a child that was personally i would not give it to a child at least that's under four for sure but always check that kind of thing out. Um, and then here's the book. There's the back of it. These are adorable. All right, so let's see. Let's look for, okay, so we've got Queen Elsa and Princess Anna. So those are the two, right, Elsa, Elsa and Anna. And they are the first two instructions on here. So um, let's see, do, do, do. Like the other kits, they tell you, they have some basics in here. They talk about safety eyes. Um, this is supposed to be worsted weight yarn. I would say this is a light worsted weight to me. It's not super thick. It's not thick like, uh, for example, Red Heart Super Saver yarn is thicker than this. All right, so to me, it's, a, it's a more of a light worsted. Um, and it says, please note that even though safety eyes are highly unlikely to come off, small plastic parts should still be considered a choking hazard for babies. Yay. Good for them to put that in there. If make the dolls for a very young recipient, use embroidery to create the eyes. Um, yeah, you can embroider the eyes, or if you're like me and are embroidery challenged, you can cut little pieces of felt out and glue them on. Um, you can also use um, a felting needle, which is not in this kit. You have to get that, but they're, they're, they're like $15 at Michael's, but of course, go get the 40% coupon out. And you can use yarn and like felt in and just go ch -ch -ch and do them. That takes a little practice, but I've seen people do that as well. The book also includes some basics on how to crochet. Okay. 
and it's you know it's fairly I would say you know it's the same information in all the books and I would say all of them are pretty 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 good directions I, I won't know if I wouldn't go so far as to say if you've never cro crocheted in your entire life you would completely learn from this but I think this and maybe some video how-to videos you could probably get going on it it talks about embroidery stitches for like the mouth and that kind of thing um, all right so we have Queen Elsa oh she's very pretty all right so this is obviously where you would use that tool that's in here um, I don't want to lose this stuff here so you see here she's, she's got the tool all right that's pretty cool all right I like that. that's a nice little touch and then after her instructions there is Princess Anna very cute now she looks pretty detailed yeah because she's got you know a cape on and she's got some embroidery around the, I don't know if that's coming out on there but underneath down here on the bottom there are little um, flowers that they show you and they do have embroidery instructions in here let me see if they have them they have them for the for the face detach chain stitch daisy stitch hmm I mean you wouldn't have to put the flowers on there but they are that is a nice touch but that that's a fairly detailed little toy honestly so so yeah there's a lot of good pictures helpful pictures here lots of close-ups um, Let me find another one. Oh, here's cute. Showing how to attach pieces and stuff. So, so yeah, I think it looks like it's. Uh, these are pretty nice kits. And again, as I've said with some of the other ones, oh look how cute that. Is. <laughs> so these are really fun, especially. I mean, if you know somebody, a little girl, a little boy that is into the Frozen, which I think kind of every child in the universe is these days, these would be wonderful gifts. Oh, there's that little snowman he would be easy he would be super now they don't have the yarn in here but all you need is black and white yarn um, to make him in maybe some little no, just black and white yarn and some orange for the nose that would be I would actually say do him first you know go buy the supplies to do him first if you're newbies newbies do the snowman first but if you are somebody who has wanted to try amigurumi um, these to me these to me when I look at them they look a little bit more advanced than some of the other amigurumi kits that I've done like um, that I reviewed for example the Star Wars one uh, there were easier ones in there because there wasn't as much detail on them but definitely definitely I can say that word definitely frozen enthusiasts will want to do this okay um, don't expect to learn how to crochet with something like this but if you have some basics down and you want to expand into amigurumi a kit like this is a really good place to start because you've got everything you need to at least make a couple of the characters they're using a size F hook which is a 3.5 I'm 99% sure um, that's a fairly small to me that's a fairly small hook but most of the smaller amigurumis are you they usually are made with a size F hook if you're having problems you might be able to go up to a G especially if you have a tight gauge um, but you want to make sure that you have enough yarn because it will make it a little bit bigger and that you don't have trouble with um, the stuffing coming out I mean, which reminds me do they have stuffing yes they do okay so they even have stuffing so yeah you have everything you need in here I'd like to know have you done any of these kits before I've, I've seen a few people uh, that have done some of the Star Wars characters and I started one of them and I haven't finished them I know I'm bad um, but yeah, maybe this summer I can get back into my amigurumi swing. I do love my amigurumi. Thank you so much for watching, and I always appreciate a thumbs up and a share. Have a wonderful crafting day. Bye.